Welcome back, I'm Piotr from Bokeh Photos and today we'll be doing cinemagraphs, animated photographies or moving pictures. What will, what will I go through is Photo Mirage from Coral, a shampoo cinemagraph as a dedicated software for looping animations or short movies, and Damage Resolve as full-blown video software to edit and color grade anything we want. Let's start with the most simple Photo Mirage. Photo Mirage is not using any videos, it is using pictures and photographies. Let's load a picture as we are doing right now. And what do we have here? It's pretty simple, we just simply have arrows to point our movement and anchor points to actually keep stuff at bay. So let's click play with three arrows like that. We want this steam to evaporate up in the frame and as you can see, well, the steam does move but everything does. So we need to click stop and we can either add anchor points like that and let's make the table also not move and let's click play. As you can see works wonders. Let's click on this and maybe add a little bit of movement here. Let's get rid of those points here and add Add those a little bit more tight. Right here, yes. We want this steam to move at least a little bit. Let's maybe add a little more movement here. It does look a little bit, well, squared, I would say. Geometrical, not very nice. It's not that soft as we would like. Let's add a little more arrows and let's see how it goes. And click play. Guys, in this photo, in this software, we got only two things we can do either remove the arrows or add more arrows. That's the bottom line. Nothing else. Let's try to fiddle around with this a little bit further. This is the biggest pain of that software is to just simply know how those arrows work and to get the best result. You need to practice, practice and practice. Pretty much as always. Look at that. That looks awesome. I'm happy with that. And here we have a small movement in our steam. And what can we do now? We can either increase the speed like that. Let's click play. But it doesn't look that pretty. I would say the slower the animation, the more subtle the animation, the more subtle the movement, it looks just simply better. And let's click play. This software pretty much takes any photo you can have and just add a movement. The best working photographies are landscapes, clouds, water, etc, etc. People, people won't be that good. Let's try something different. I did prepare this beforehand and just take a look. Here we got masked our water so it will not move. A little bit of movement where the ships are. The bird obviously needs to move because it flies. And here the river will also have a flow. And the anchor points are on the beach, on the sand, so it will not move. Let's click play and see how it looks. Now this obviously will not look natural because it is animated. This is artificial movement in the end. Look at that. It's pretty much just fading away, but it does. It looks really, really kind of nice, right? And we did take a photo and just make something like that. Do you like it? Is it worth it? I don't know. Tell me in the comment section. I feel that it it is fine. It, it does look nice. I mean, there is a little bit of animation. Obviously, it's not for everything, but it still works with most of the photographies. So let's click stop. Okay, so any software like Photo Mirage is animating a photography artificially based on the image itself. Now let's go to a shampoo cinemagraph, which is a dedicated software for video editing. So now we have our a shampoo cinemagraph. Let's make it a whole lot bigger. And let's just load our video. Okay guys, so this is our video. As you can see when we click play, 
just a video, right? Now, what's special about that? Look that the movement is very nicely confined between parts that are static and not moving, meaning the movement from one part of the image does not correlate or messes up the movement in other parts. So if we will be able to mask nicely one part of the road, the other part will not be moving, etc. And additionally, we could also mask the sky right here. So let's do it. First of all, let's click select, select current image as the image that is our base that we will see as the static. And on that image, we will mask or remove parts of the image that we will see the video that is playing underneath it. Pretty much a simple layer on top of our video. So let's make the whole area static, meaning we will use this image for the whole video. And let's just paint the stuff that has to move. Let's make the brush a little bigger and let's paint the sky. Just like that. And when we click play, let me increase the resolution because it is very small due to performance reasons. So it will be a lot faster and let's click play. Only the sky is moving, right? Perfection. Now let's add a little bit of movement here in the street. So let, let's, let us mask that part. Let's stop playing for now. Okay, let's make the brush smaller and try to nail down this part here. Okay, more or less, of course. Let's click play. Let's wait a little bit for the rendering to complete. And as you can see, this is standing still. This part here is standing still. Our sky is moving and our cars are also moving. Now we can export this pretty much to anything we want. Easy. PZ. Really awesome. The software costs currently 20 bucks on sale. It's usually on sale because I don't really think it's developed anything any anymore. The Photo Mirage is definitely not being developed. It's just simply software. It is finished. It is working. Just grab this and use it if you like it. That's the bottom line. So software like Ashampoo Cinemagraphs are dedicated pieces of programs for you to do only this. There is one purpose. And as you can see, it's easy, simple, and pretty much pretty. DaVinci Resolve that we will dive in a second is big, huge. It's pretty much an overkill. You can still use this. If you're using DaVinci Resolve on a daily basis, you probably already know how to do it. And what can we else add here? We add effects, which are pretty much presets, right? We got basic color grading tools here and text tools we also have here that we can add some text to it. Pretty much a lot of stuff can be done with a very, very simple software, 20 bucks, regular price over 100, but for the functions that this gives you, it is so easy, fast, and actually reliable. It didn't hang up on me once. I would say it's, it's very, very nice. And here we can, of course, select what do we want to export which section of the photo. So guys, it doesn't make, it doesn't get any easier than this, but Let's go with DaVinci Resolve and let's see how a full-blown video editing and color grading software does something as easy as this. So guys, this is the Resolve. Let's add our clip here. Let's add this to the timeline. Let's stretch this a little bit so we will see. Yeah, this is our clip. Let's remove the audio track. So video one is pretty much our layer number one, the bottom one. We press Alt and drag the clip up and we have two layers with the same video. As you can see, let's click play. The video is running, maybe not the most smoothly. Sorry for that, but my PC is simply dying. It's our video. So we have layers as an affinity Photoshop or anywhere else for that matter. We now need to create an image and choose a frame from that layer 
and then mask it so it will be transparent and we will be able to see the clip that is playing underneath it so we click on this track number two we go to our inspector find the speed change tab and click freeze frame and pretty much this freezes our frame then we can stretch our frame here we can see the freeze frame icon and if you play this right now everything is frozen and that's the general idea now we need to simply punch a hole in that image so we will see the video underneath which will be our animated part of the frame so what can we do now now we need to go to color in the notes panel those are the notes click right and add alpha output and just connect this blue square with the blue circle and there's that now we already have selected the window tool click the window tool and select the pen tool and now since we are punching a hole in our frame we need to select the invert tool here and simply select the part of the road that we want to be animated zoom out just make a rough selection it doesn't have to be perfect something like that as you can see it changed already here we have a black spot which is our mask and let's click play and that's it guys this is how we can do it then we just simply click the deliver tab and export this to anything we want that's it and now we can export everything and let's play the whole part as simple as this Additionally, we can color grade this. There are a lot more tools in DaVinci Resolve than in Shampoo, but pretty much all the masking you can do with power windows as much as possible as you want. You can add a softness. There are a little bit more tools to tweak and fine tune all the details, but there's that. Do you really need this full blown software? I don't really think so. Shampoo is a lot easier. This is rather for filmmakers. If you're using already DaVinci Resolve, feel free to use that if you just want to start and looking for something easy to just dive into it a little bit just wet your feet i would go with a shampoo photo mirage is animating pictures this is totally different but it's easier if you actually have photographies because here you have to have the video recorded so as you can see this is the same result as we got from a shampoo in a minute i will show you all other cinemagraphs i created recently thanks for tuning in Hope you like it. If you have any questions, if you liked something more or less, feel free to hit me up, leave me a comment, and bye for now. right this is some issues with masking here but what is important we have those lines that are actually not animated and they are separating the movement between parts of the frame it's very crucial because it makes life a lot easier because just remember that finding a proper frame is very very important let's move forward the second frame this is from a shampoo look at the hair those are a couple of arrows added with a couple of anchor points it's very easy to do. Do you like it? Well, I think it's at least fun to do. This is, as you can see at the beginning, a little bit of camera movement that we would like to avoid, but this is just for presentation purposes. And look at this right now. Here we have movement because the mask is just simply a circular line all around. And this is static. This looks nice. I could mask only the billboards and eventually the roof. So the colors will change accordingly. But this is also totally up to you. How do you like it and why do you like it? Let's move further.
This is the original. You can see also it's very easy because the geometrical shape, the movement is only in separate parts of the image. It's very easy to mask. Remember about that. It's very, very crucial. It makes life a lot easier. Simple as that. Here you can see the camera moves a little bit, so it's not perfect. This is Photo Mirage. This is just simply animating with the arrows, the liquid and how it floats in the glass. So if you need any product photography for that matter, Photo Mirage could be for you. Because it's a lot harder to actually put the bottle straight so it won't move a bit. It is doable, but without the studio, this could be just a solution somewhere in between. This is also another part of a product photography. As you can see, masking is all around the glass and only the liquid is animated. It does take a little bit of time to fine tune in those details, but in the end, I would say it's look, it, it is looking pretty nice and it's actually fun to do. This is another example from DaVinci Resolve I created previously and as you can see this is the mask only for my hair. This is an auto portrait and let's click play and see what happens. I will turn off the layer and as you can see it looks seamlessly. It did take a lot of time to do it, to do this, but I'm pretty happy with the result in the end. So this is one thing and let me show you the other timeline. <laughs> 